I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So, you found yourself a treasure chest or a box, and now you need someone to open it for you. Either you yourself are a rogue, or you're going to need to find someone to open it for you. So, you got your little box. <clears throat> you're so excited because there's going to be all kinds of treasure inside of it. However, you have this lock on the outside of it. So, most LARPs are going to have some sort of lock like this. Uh, it could be like this, or it could be uh, something a little bit bigger. It could be a master lock. It could be a combination lock. Uh, it could be a puzzle box. It could be some sort of dial that you need to twist. There could be something special you have to put in it to open it. Uh, if someone made the entire box themselves. So it's really going to vary. But most boxes are going to have locks like this on at most fantasy LARPs. So, you need to know how to open this. <clears throat> now, one piece of my kit that isn't really period is my lock picks here. So I need to work on getting a better setup for these, but it's a actual lock picking kit. Um, I find that most of the time, the only thing that you need to open, I would say most of these boxes is this right here. If you can see what that pick looks like, so really, to open these, all you have to do is insert the pick into the lock and turn it, a little bit of pressure, and just like that, it's open. Now granted, I am an extremely proficient rogue. I am very good at picking locks. So I may have just made that look a lot easier than perhaps it really is. Oh, let me lock this here. So, it's locked. Pick. There you go. So, it's a little bit harder doing it facing the camera than it is facing me. But, that's basically how it works. Now, this particular lock, one of the LARPs I go to, this is a lock that's provided by them. I actually purchased this in-game to be able to protect my possessions uh, a very, very long time ago. So this is a very old lock. Uh, that particular LARP has kind of moved on to uh, like these gold-colored locks. I think they're typed by the dollar store. But most of the time, this is all you need. Now, sometimes you need you know, some of these other things to provide leverage, so on and so forth. Sometimes you need these other picks, but really, this one, most of the time, will do your job for you. So, as far as picking locks, basically, put it in, try to feel for the tumblers, and then twist. Um, that may or may not make any sense to you, but... Buy yourself a lockpick, shove it in there, start jiggling it, see what happens. You know, same as your first time you and Susie Rotten Crotch went out and had a few beers. So now that you have this undone, you open up your box and reveal your treasures inside. Oh, empty box figures <clears throat> but what do you do if it's not that simple what if there's a trap inside it for that we'll move on to this slightly larger chest so we have our larger chest we're going to open our lock, and then from there, we have the box. Now, any good rogue can tell you that these boxes are usually trapped. Traps are going to come in a variety of different flavors. Um, they could be bang snaps, they could be mouse traps, they could be electronic, there could be blades that pop out, there could be balloons filled with cocaine or some sort of dust that flies in your face could be something with water there could be marble stuck on the top of it uh, there could be fishing line uh, lights 
all kinds of different things, basically. Maybe a match that strikes as you open it. Just really, they vary greatly depending on who puts the boxes together. But the majority of the time you crack these things open, they're going to be electronic or they're going to be mouse traps. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the basics today. And I'm going to show you a mouse trap. So once you get the lock off, you have your box. You're going to want to very carefully do whatever you need to do to open it. Now ideally, you'd pop this just a little bit and have a peek inside through this crack so you can see what's going on. That way if there's something on top or fishing line or something, you can see what's happening. However, in this box, we can see that there's nothing like that. However, we do have a trap guarding our treasure. So, how do we get this trap out of there? So, it's a mouse trap. So really, the easiest way to do this is just to take and reach in. You need to have a fundamental understanding of how mouse traps work. So if you don't have that, get one and play with it. Basically, pressure on this metal plate is what's going to spring the trap. So, at all cost, avoid touching that. Come over to this side, and this is where you're going to want to just push down on it as hard as you can, push it against the bottom, and then pull it out. Now you can see that it's sprung, however my fingers are holding down all of the tension. So once you have it in this sort of position, then you can just very carefully push it closed. And that's a disarmed mouse trap. So not all that complicated. So let me reset it here real quick for us. Alright, so mouse trap set. The idea is that when you put your fingers in, you're going to come down on this portion. Don't touch this, that'll make it snap. You're going to come down this portion pressure. Done. So not so difficult. <clears throat> now, mouse traps. if it's a single mouse trap, that's pretty simple. In fact, in a box like this, if you could see the treasure, I probably just would have reached in and picked out the treasure and not even worried about the trap, closed it back up and handed it back to whoever gave it to me so they can be surprised when they open it up. As a rogue, you should know, always wear gloves. Always wear gloves. Uh, as my Max character, I always wear gloves. I never don't wear gloves. <laughs> so, you're going to want to get a good pair of gloves. Something that is skin tight. These leather gloves are awesome. They are uh, sometimes referred to as cop gloves. But basically, they're thin leather. They fit skin tight. I can pick up coins off of the floor with these on. They're incredible. And I just wear them all the time. Over uh, the few years I've had them, they've basically just kind of contoured to my hands. So it's really just like, you know, I'm not even wearing any. So get yourself a good pair of gloves. That way, if you do screw up and this thing decides to, ow, spring down on you, it saves you a little bit. But, like I was saying, what if the person who puts these boxes together at your LARP is really sadistic? Mimic! Rawr. No, not that sadistic. But, let's see what mouse traps can really look like. Okay, so you found this box. You always want to handle them very gently because you never know what is inside. Now, if there are marbles and balloons and things that can easily be disturbed, you're going to need to be super careful with these things. Um, so if you have to carry any distance, I strongly suggest having people to protect you. Hopefully it's in an area where you're able to work on it without uh, any sort of interruption. So the very first thing you want to do is open it up. You know, after you've taken your lock off of it. Oh, so now in this box, we can see that someone was sadistic. And there's a whole bunch of traps in here. Now, on a box like this, you can either 
try to apply downward pressure and hold them all down and pull them all out at one time, or you can try to do them one at a time. Um, generally speaking, I usually try to do them one at a time. However, you know, you can be heavy handed if you want, whatever works for you. Now, luckily they're all mouse traps, so it should be fairly easy. On something like this, the one I would suggest starting with is the side one. So there's one. And we already know how to disarm this from earlier in the video. So there's that. Next one. All right. Disarmed. Now these last two that are in here you probably can't see, but it's one on top of an upside down one. So, like I said before, you can either try to do one at a time or you can do them both at once. I'm going to go ahead and try both at once for you. All right. So, I caught them. So, that's both at once. See, I just used a pinch technique. Now, as far as disarming them, you're going to want to keep pressure on one while you disarm one, right? Get rid of that one. And then you still have pressure on this one and then just bring it on over. All right. So that's a four trap box. Now, as far as these traps, these ones are actually sprung pretty, pretty strongly. Um, both little edges are in position. And uh, these ones actually go shut pretty hard uh, compared to some other traps. Now, uh, if your LARP uses the same traps years over year, they'll get a little bit looser, uh, which could be good or bad. Um, if it hits your fingers, it's good. But as far as jostling, it makes it harder. But mouse traps, you're going to see them in a lot of different configurations. They'll have them suspended in here, or they'll have them, you know, in a TP. They'll have them stacked one on top of each other, upside down, right side up coming in from the sides and all other different ways but really with mouse traps the important thing is to do remember take your time on it do it one at a time unless it makes sense to do more than one at a time and then just pick a starting point and work on it and be careful not to bump the other traps so this is how to open a simple lock and disarm a simple trap I will have more in this series on how to deal with other types of traps and uh, how to creatively get around them, and also how to open other types of locks, and uh, maybe some uh, thinking outside of the box, you know? <laughs> Since we're rogues, we need to be smarter than the people who put the treasure in here. But for now, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. If you didn't like it, tell me what I did wrong, you know, make fun of me, whatever. Obviously, I'm not picking a friggin' master lock here with this. It's a very simple lock. Anyone should be able to do it. Uh, <clears throat> so spare me the comments. We'll get to uh, higher level locks later on. But for right now, this is what you're looking at. Uh, assuming your LARP even does this. Your LARP might just be something like, I'm picking the lock one. I'm picking the lock two. I'm picking the lock three. Oh, oh, oh the lock is open. Or it could be something like, you know, Oh, paper beats rock, or oh no, you didn't open it. Uh, so depending on how your LARP's rules work, I mean, it is what it is. But if you have a LARP where you actually have to use skills, then I would say you're, one, you had a pretty cool LARP. Two, you're going to need to build these skills. Although they're somewhat rudimentary and not very difficult at first, uh, it still takes a little bit of practice. And the more you practice, obviously, the better you'll get. I've been a rogue for about 15 years now. Uh, I only took it out of necessity. Never wanted to be a rogue. But we used to be able to smash these boxes at my primary LARP. They took that ability away from us, and then you had to open them. Well, I got sick of paying rogues to open my boxes, and I got sick of them stealing stuff, so I learned how to do it myself. And fast forward, now I'm the one stealing stuff and charging people to open boxes. So, pretty simple. And I'm glad to see that most of the LARPs I attend 
do a similar situation to this because this is a lot of fun. Personally, I have more fun finding and opening boxes than I do actually playing the game. So this is my thing. I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to watch all the other videos uh, in this series. I'm Max Sterling. Until next time, adventure on. Good morrow, lords and ladies. Are you finding this topic particularly difficult to masturbate to? I understand completely. But allow me to entice you with some of the other video offerings that I have. They are sure to provide the correct incentive and vivid imagery that you require to complete your second favorite hobby after LARPing. Please subscribe using the link below and allow me to take you on a voyage of intense pleasure through LARPgasm, the finest, most debaucherous LARPing channel on YouTube. Subscribe now.